this this comes up in the exam sometimes. Um, they ask you to prove something using vectors. Now, when I think about all the exams, I think this has only come up twice, which is it's not often because there's about two exams a year for ten years, you know, there's about twenty exams. But it could come up, uh, and they, they, they are usually two different types of proofs, okay? So I'll do an example of each. So the first type of proof is what you might call an algebra proof. I'll give you a, an example. An example might be, um, it might say something like, prove, so this is our example, prove that a dot b plus c equals um, a dot b plus a dot c, yeah. What, Jerry? He's helping me. Be good to him. Be nice. Are you being nice? <laughs> okay, try to be nice, thank you. Alright, you got that? So the reason I say it's an algebra proof is because you can prove it using algebra. For example, to prove this you would say let A equal A1, A2, A3. You can probably see where this is going. B equals B1, B2, B3. And C equals C1, C2, C3. So, if you put that in, you would have A1, A2, A3, dot, and this would be B1 plus C1, B2 plus C2, B3 plus C3, and that's to equal A1, A2, A3, dot, B1, B2, B3, plus a1, a2, a3, dot, c1, c2, c3. Now when you expand this, on the left you'll get um, a1, b1, plus a1, c1. <sighs> and then the next one will be plus a2, b2, plus a2, C2. So I'll just write etc. etc. Mm -hmm. Equals, and then likewise when I expand here, what do I get? Well, the first one here gives me A1, B1, and the second one here gives me A1, C1, plus etc. So you can do it for 1, 2, and 3, but you'll discover that you'll get the same on the left and on the right they're the same. So this is the end then. QED means end of proof. Just need to show the Yeah. Yeah. So do you understand why I call this an algebra proof? Because you just prove it with just algebra. Nothing not nothing too fancy. Nothing too special. Although the next example is um, a bit harder, which we'll do in a moment. Yeah? Continue? Yes. Yeah. So, can I scroll down to you? Yeah. So the next one is what I call Jerry. Move the phone to the right a little, little more. There, okay. Uh, geometry proof. Okay, so uh, here's an example. I'll just draw a semicircle here. It's a circle. Uh, 
Uh, this is a semi circle. Yeah. And you want to Prove it is right angled. So you want to prove that in a semicircle, this here, that's the full diameter by the way, proves that that's a right angle. And you might even remember this from uh, middle school, that this is a right angle, but the proof of it. Okay, shall we have a look at this? Yeah. So I have to give the points some names, so I'll just call this O, I'll call this A, I'll call this B, and I'll call this P. Uh, does anyone know what RTP oh, is? I don't know. What RTP is? Does anyone know RTP? No. It means uh, required... <laughs> <laughs> to prove. So we're required to prove that A, P, B's angle is 90 degrees. Which, by the way, that's the same thing as proving that A, P is perpendicular to P, B. So I've changed that this is the key. The key step is changing it from a statement in geometry into a statement into vectors. So this is what I need to prove. Okay, so shall we prove this now? So how can I prove two vectors are so the start of the proof, this is the symbol to show start of proof, by the way. Um, how can I prove two vectors are perpendicular? Zero. Yeah, the dot should be zero. So let's calculate the dot. Uh, before I calculate the dot, actually, maybe I'll expand. So this is, um, do I want to expand? I think I should expand. P minus A dot B minus P. Uh, can you can write P minus B? No. No. Oh, sorry. I wrote p minus yeah p minus a p minus p. Yeah, I have to write this way because I don't know it's equal to zero yet. Um, p dot b minus p dot p minus a dot b minus uh, plus a dot p. Now, um, next what we should do is note, though, that B equals OB, which equals minus BO, which is the same thing as OA, uh, I mean to say, it's the same thing as minus OA. B to O is the same vector as O to A. So, in other words, B is the same as minus A. B is equal to minus A. This vector is minus that vector. Because they're both equal to the radius of the circle. So, now I can write this now as equal to um, minus P dot A minus P dot P plus A dot A plus a dot p. Well that's nice because the a dot p can you see here cancels with the a dot the p dot a at the start. So that goes with that. So you're left with minus p dot p plus a dot a. Um, but what is p dot p? Well if you remember that's minus p's magnitude squared and a dot a is a's magnitude squared. But if we go back to the circle, what is the magnitude of P? Well, that's the length from here to here. And what's the magnitude of A? From here to here. Oh, these are both the same thing, because it's on a circle. 
Yeah. Yeah. R. So yeah, so this will equal minus r plus r, which is equal to zero. And that's the end of the proof. You see that's harder. That's harder. Huh? This means end of proof. Uh, which angle now? Like which formula? Ah, oh, come in. How are you late, dude? Say again. O A. Wait, O A equals O P. No, it doesn't. The, well, the length of O A equals the length of O P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, correct. I mean, if you. I know. I understand. Yeah, this angle is the same as this angle. Yeah. Yeah. This angle yeah. equals this angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. This is how you proved it in middle school. Yeah. yeah, correct. But sadly, in the exam, it would say prove using vectors. Sorry. Uh, which is harder. But no, this is right. So you're saying that... Um, what? These three make 180, isn't it? This box. Uh, well, yeah. One, two, three, four. Those three angles. Make 180. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then divide by two. Yeah. Much easier to do. Uh, so you're saying two dots plus two circles equals 180 dot plus a circle equals 90 which is this uh, here. huh? well this is right but you can't do it in the exam because the exam is that will prove using vectors sorry it's a much nice yours is way much nicer though Where did that come from? The magnitude? Yeah, right. I forgot. Break my heart. Break my heart. to have it written down. We mentioned it in one of the classes. I think um not well the angles for sure, but I think it was in this lesson where we first mentioned it. Yeah look there it is two it was mentioned and it came up as an ex as a question. Anyways, if you don't believe me, no problem. Because today's lesson, the very first thing I ask you to do is to prove that. Okay. Okay, continue. Yeah. What else you are not asking me any questions, dude, because I already said what RTP is, but you were asleep at the time. Anybody want to tell this sleepy head what RTP stands for? No. I don't know. I don't know. Tem required temperature for um pressure. for pressure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have thought of that. RTP, what else could we have? I don't think. Um okay. Oh no! <laughs> There's no one formula or something like that can be Huh? That can be Huh? What's going on? Lee! Huh? Uh. 
RTP is just short for required to prove, which I wrote above RTP. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. Okay. Now, I want us to practice one of these proofs together because, you know, these are kind of the harder ones. Uh, and then we can try some of the book. Um, are we just waiting for Lee? No. And Sean, okay, we'll wait for Sean. <laughs> Yeah, where is she? <laughs> what? Is she? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She has a message for you. Do you mean you're married? Oh, no, this is not my phone. This is my phone. Huh? I didn't bring my phone. She has a message for you. Does she really? Is she really in America? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? You know, it is my boss. I'm going to start. I sleep at 6 30 and I wake up now. Try to go class but too tired. Sure, really. I will skip the first class and go at 11. Could you tell me? Um, <laughs> You're like, oh, better not read that part. Can <laughs> <laughs> you tell Stephen to go? Uh, yeah. you know, I will sleep one hour, one more hour, one hour more and go. If I don't do that, I cannot focus on all stuff today. Thanks. Continue now? <laughs> no comment. No comment there. Okay. Uh, so I'll try and have you prove this now. It's, it's, it's harder. So, um, you have some shape with four sides. Actually, I think this is one of the ones in the book. Which one is it now? Okay. No, no, it's okay. Um, what I want you to prove is that if you have a shape with four sides, and if you draw these red lines, these are called diagonals, if the diagonals are perpendicular, then that means it must be a square and not a rectangle. It's a square and not a rectangle. What is the difference? <laughs> What's the difference between a square and a rectangle, KJ? No. 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 Well, no. What's the difference between these two? Uh, yeah, what is the like, uh, four sides are Thank you. Um, these guys are having a failure right now. Yeah, all the sides are equal for a square, not so, but a rectangle. So, what I want you to try and prove is if you have four sides, and if the diagonals are perpendicular, uh. then it must be a square and not a rectangle. So you prove the four sides are equal. No, no, you can start by saying they are diagonal. So start by assuming they are diagonal. That's, I mean, perpendicular. And then your job, you are required to prove that it's a square. So you can start with this, and you must prove what you have is a square. Um <laughs> no. No, if the question asked you this, you can only go the one way. And my hint I'll give you, what you might be wondering is, you know, should we maybe put the origin here as O or something like that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I think what you can do is just put the O here and just look at the full diagonal. So you could call this like A, B, and C. D, 
D-I-A-G-O-N-A-L. G. G-O-N. Oh yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. Uh, this arrow direction is not important because it doesn't change if it's perpendicular or not. I see lots of thinking and lots of drawing. Some proven, perhaps. Think you have it, John? Good man. Let's have a look. Oh. What? You haven't done anything. You've just no. wrote, you've just written diagonals are perpendicular. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so, we need to, the, firstly there's diagonal, uh, the diagonals are perpendicular. Uh, so we can start off by uh, just assuming or taking as a fact that uh, OB is perpendicular to uh, AC. Yes. Uh, or in other words, B is perpendicular to AC. Uh, or in other words, that B dot AC is zero, yeah. Or B dot C minus A equals zero. So B dot C minus B dot A equals zero, yeah. So let's see, that's B dot C equals uh, B dot A. Now we'll have to change some of the vectors. So let's have a look at what we can say here. So we can say that A is equal to CB. Can't we? Yeah. Uh, is that helpful? That means A is equal to B minus C. Yeah, because uh, yeah. I don't like that I have three vectors here. It makes it difficult to make any sort of statement. Uh, but I like that I can do this. Mm -hmm. That might that might be helpful. Let's see what happens. B, B dot C. Ah, this is looking nice. So then we get B dot C equals B dot B minus B dot C. Yeah. Uh, 
B dot B is magnitude of B, isn't it? Squared. And that's uh, 2? B dot C? 2 B dot C. Okay, I feel like I have to do something with the C now. So why? I don't know what I'm doing really, Jerry. I want to have A and C. What have I got now? B or C. <laughs> flip. <laughs> ah, flip. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Uh, I would like to finish with A and C. So I like A and I like C, but I don't like B. Uh, so what can... Ah, B. Yeah, yeah. We can say B equals C... Plus A. Plus CB, which is A. That's better. Now I can finish with my A and my C. Oh, I could have put that. Doesn't matter. Could have put that in there. Oh well. Uh, so that's C plus A dot C equals C plus A dot A. Uh, <coughs> C dot C plus A dot C equals C dot A plus A dot A. Nice. Uh, what can I cancel? They're cancelled. You get magnitude of C squared equals magnitude of A squared. So it must be a square. Because you're saying that this side is the same length as this side. Yes. And you already know that this must be the same as this. Mm -hmm. and this must be the same as this mm -hmm. so we can end up saying that magnitude of A squared equals magnitude of B squared equals magnitude of C squared equals magnitude of D squared cancel the squares and it's definitely a square not a rectangle sure. yeah um, in the spot line you say B dot C minus A equals BC minus CA yeah. Uh, why didn't you add O in front of B? Then you would have to change O B into B minus O and you would have four. Yeah, I have four. Fine. Well, why is it different? It's not different. If you have O B dot uh, A C, right? Uh -huh. That's B minus O dot C minus A, yeah? Uh -huh. So do you have B dot C? Yes. Do you have minus b dot a? Yeah. yeah. Do you have minus o dot c? Yeah. yeah. And do you have plus o dot a? Yeah. But o dot c and o dot a are always zero, because vector o is from o to o, which is zero, zero, zero. You dot zero, zero, zero with anything, you always get zero, zero, zero. Mm -hmm. uh, so advantage, so dotting with the origin is like multiplying by zero. There's no vector. But we still have to do that, right? If you wrote down O dot, you would have to expand it and cancel out the O dots. Okay. Can I scroll down? Yeah, well, let's just have a quick look at Lee's little statement here. Uh, we just want to prove that O dot any vector is zero. Yeah, so uh, vector O is O, 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 it's the origin, and vector OR is x, y, z. Well, that's O, x, O, y, O, z, which is zero then. So, dotting with the origin vector always makes a zero vector, a zero scalar. It's okay. Yeah. Um, this one here, this one here is the hardest question you could get if it came up to the exam. Um, the vector proof question only came up twice. And one of the times it came up, it was this one. Okay. And I know why, because that was the year I wrote the exam and <laughs> put this one in it. Out of 10 years? Yeah. Out of 20 exams, 
There are two vector proof questions, an algebra one and a geometry one. And the only geometry one was the one I wrote, which was this one. How many? Huh? How many? How many what? Different factors. I don't know because uh, students they sometimes don't do the vector question in section B. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> Well, I can understand if you got something like this, maybe, but if, you're, if you don't do the vector question, then that means you're doing something like the integration question. I don't know. I don't think they're that hard. I mean, even this one here, you know, it was hard because you really have to try different things, but a couple of you got it, so. Okay. Uh, I think it'd be good if you practice some of these. I feel, um, I feel if this did come up in the exam, it wouldn't be that hard. They would either give you a diagram and tell you what to do. So, like for example, if something like this was to come up in an exam this year, I think the question might say something like part one. Uh, it might say write B in terms of. A and C. That would be part one, for example. And then part two, they would have you uh, calculate uh, B dot AC. And then part three would be to prove it's a square. So if they, if they give it to you like this, if they first they ask you to do this, then when you get on to part two, you might think, oh, well, maybe that's why they had me do this first, so I can put my answer in here. And then if they ask you to prove that it's a square, then you would think, oh, maybe I can use my answer here to help me. Oh, well, if it's, if it's perpendicular, then it should be zero, you know. So I, this will be more normal for the exam. Okay, can you try these for a few minutes, and then we'll have a, a is, that, is that the end of the vectors? No, there's one left, isn't there? Yeah. Yes. What?